Right, so I was completely wrong. We're still on housing. <laughs> Question at the front. Hello, thank you. Um, I live in a small rural community and we are currently absolutely breaking our backs over our neighbourhood plan. Our neighbourhood plan would cover every aspect that you've touched on, the placemaking, the transport, the housing, all of that. And I, unless I've missed an episode, because I have to admit occasionally I do. Oh, <laughs> I'm just thinking, neighbourhood plan, you could, if you started it with Emma and the council, you could dip into it and cover all of these aspects just to care. Well, you're not writing it, are you? So who am I speaking? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have been waiting to hear, because so many rural communities are doing it, because it can be protective. Um, it's, it has to be looked at in law before there's any sort of um, housing development. Anyway, I've said my bit. No, so, I, I absolutely agree. And there is an... A, Staggering lack of mention of the, of the neighbourhood plan. It's something that the parish council would have been made aware of. It's something anything anybody I think Linda would have sniffed out and found and, and wanted to bring into the village. There's also been with the development a lack of any mention of any local MP and any petitioning in that way. Um, there was a mention Roy was going on to the council website to look at the planning application, and that was I think the only mention of actually that kind of process behind the scenes of the development. So yeah, the huge, there is a huge, complete lack of that. I mean, we could perhaps crowdsource a, a local plan for Ambridge Online, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a really glaring omission. <coughs> I was just going to follow that up with, um, it seems that Neil's word is the final word. It seems that it all finishes at the parish council and that certainly doesn't work in my neighbourhood plan. And I'm just wondering if, yeah, you care to comment on that aspect too. Well, Neil's just quite lovely. <laughs> so maybe that's okay. No, it would be a much more complex set of people getting involved in that, in that process. Um, and it wouldn't just be the parish council, it would happen at the, the, the uh, county council level and also a regional council level as well. It, you know, there's all sorts of factors coming into play. Um, but yeah, but also, as I said before, there's still a stunning lack of voice within the parish council again about all of these concerns. Is anybody else involved in neighbourhood planning processes? I'm the chair of my neighbourhood plan. Oh, are you? Fred, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Claire. <laughs> Somerset and 
the um, district council, Mendip district council, and seeing the interplay between the, um, uh, the, the parking charges, everything that's controlled by the district council compared to the town council, um, it, uh, when, whenever a piece of land comes up and everyone says, what are Fring Town Council doing about this? And they say, well, we don't own the land, it's Mendip district council, we can't, we can't control that. And it, it's quite frustrating sometimes. And that whole business about the scale, so the state doesn't just retreat, as Claire said, it's, it retreats in terms of scale, so power collects at different scales. And what's been intriguing about the name of the planning, uh, uh, I won't call it a policy, um, is that it's the, the, the more strategic tiers have been denuded at the same time. And the work that I've done on neighbourhood planning has always had a really strong, normally conservative mayor or member of parliament who's been connected in some way, or, actually interestingly, um, academics acting as consultants. So there's, there's, in fact, your colleagues at Newcastle you know, get out quite a lot in, in working at that grassroots level. But when you're, when you're lacking either a regional spatial strategy or a regional, regional housing strategy, or, God forbid, even a um, you know, sub-national sub spatial policy is a disaster at the current time. Is that, is that air, air quotes. So as a result, any scale that seems to function at all is under huge pressure because we're supposed to solve every issue from the kind of village green to the kind of world bank with, with some well-meaning volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> So we won't do a funny theory lecture. Um, I think, if, unless there's any more questions, I think that is the first session drawing to a close.